in this blasphemous two video we I will be killing live. all of the three regrets let's go i live again inside this merciless and cold metallic casing i live in this cage in the shape of what was long ago my body i live and I feel that I am directed by forces that undermine mine own will. I live. Although when I close my eyes in the intimate darkness behind my eyelids, I am still dead. Be witness to this vigil before my final journey. My body has been returned to me at last. I am now master of this flesh, of this trembling, of this agony. How sweet the pain. 
when it is our own. Penitent one. You who came to witness the miracle. Behold. But their plea was so humble and true that the miracle, whose lofty reasons are beyond our earthly ken, finally stirred from its slumber, aroused from its repose, and moved by the sweet melody of such noble supplications, it blessed this couple of devout believers, whose faith had never wavered, granting them the child they so desired. The dying day already puts out its celestial light, causing my eyelids to droop. Let the miracle cast open its black gates, so I might venture to wear that terrible dream from which one never wakes, awaits. Penitent one, you have known the second of the regrets, and with it, another part of the testimony. The figure of the mother has descended, full of mercy. Anon, the upper part of the city, separated from the rest by the miracle's design, will join the rest. Find the last guardian. Welcome to this palace. How silent, how mundane these luxurious chambers have been. Halls that were once frequented by the most distinguished of visitors. They all ended up staying here, captives, trapped petrified like golden statues, prisoners of the very riches they craved. Dance now with my steel, penitent one. We will embroider your flesh in sacred torment, in a tapestry of blood and gold. On guard.
be witness to this vigil before my final journey. I, Orospina, am the daughter of the looms, of the mantle of gold and fine silver and scarlet and white, eldest sister of the confraternity of embroiderers, ancient secret of the needle and the thread. Where I go, naught shimmers with gold, and my graceful steel will never again adorn the air with its elegant silver calligraphy. Penitent one, you who come to witness the miracle, behold. The memory of him still hurts. So it was that a humble married couple, torn apart by their inability to conceive a child, entrusted themselves in their utter desperation to the miracle. A miracle whose light seemed to have gone out in all our hearts. For having long ceased to bathe us in its benevolent radiance, we believed it extinct. The warm and golden caress of twilight invites me to close my eyes. Let the miracle cast open its black gates so I might venture to where that terrible dream from which one never wakes awaits. Penitent one, you have encountered one of the three regrets. The first part of the testimony of the birth has been revealed to you, and the eminent sculptor figure of the father has descended. Find the other two guardians. Billowing clouds of dust herald your arrival. Dust in the air that is born from the erosion of the walls, the statues, and our own bones. These stones heard so many sins that they could do no more than succumb, shuddering before their guilty echoes. Echoes that could not bear the seclusion that I imposed upon them and that escaped from me, crawling along these walls, eroding them until their immaculate ashes buried us all. Penitent one, you will now reveal your sins, those that your tears can never atone for.
be witness to this vigil before my final journey. I, Radames, spent my long life listening to the confessions of so many burdened hearts. Even after death, I could still hear the echo of their mournful voices, begging to be heard again, pleading for confession. But their pain never managed to bring tears to my eyes. One of those echoes, those incessant voices, was the very voice of the miracle who commanded me to guard its sacred regret. I obeyed, and it was then that my tears did flow. Penitent one, you who come to witness the miracle, behold. But the miracle who bestows and wrests away its grace with inscrutable agency, saw its will tarnished in its prolonged absence. Erring in its newly created work, it conferred on that child as much its own as that of another. The blessing of deformity, it spread throughout our land like a contagion. Its accursed seeds germinating like the wounds that sprout upon the scourged flesh of the repentant. The dying day already puts out its celestial light, causing my eyelids to droop. Let the miracle cast open its black gates, so I might venture to where that terrible dream from which one never wakes, awaits. The full testimony has been revealed to you, and the counterfigure of the witness has at last descended. The three great stone figures of the family have humbled themselves before us all. Raise your eyes as the dazzling beauty of the upper reaches of the City of the Blessed Name welcomes you. Now go forth. Let not doubt leave its vexatious mark upon you.